All right, this is going to be a very quick tutorial showing you how to get the basic axis set up on your flight equipment in X-Plane 11. So go to settings, joystick, and this is our basic layout. This is where we bind our axes in here. This is where we bind our buttons. This here is our selector, which is where we select what device we're going to look at right now. So I'll just activate the drop down. And that's good. All my devices are showing up. If you have a device plugged in and it's not showing up here, that means that Windows can't see the device properly. So it could be a configuration issue on the device, faulty device, or some sort of driver cock up. So if you're not seeing your, your item here, don't be looking in the game because it's not the game's probably at fault. It's something else in your system. So let's start off with the top. I'll calibrate my main stick. First off, it's going to ask you to do a calibration. So I'm going to move the stick all the way forward, all the way back, all the way left, all the way right. And I'm going to do the diagonals, top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, back into the center. And then in this case, I have a little brake analog grip lever, which I now am gripping and releasing. Just take my hand off, let it settle. Right, so let's see what we've got. So axis two, I'm moving left and right. So that is our rule. Forward and backward. That's axis one. And that's our pitch. And there we go, that's the basic setup for that one. Next we'll go to the pedals. So same again, do the calibration dance. And pedal all the way fully, right pedal forward left all the way forward and then that's the right toe brake left toe brake I'll just let it settle in the middle I'm going to disable this axis because there isn't another axis I'll allow it to find the center position so let's see what we've got so axis zero is our it's going to be our yaw, so that's the pedals forward and backward. That's my left toe brake. And that one's my right toe brake. So that's the pedal setup. And we're down to the throttle. Now I have to yet again do the calibration dance. So I'm unlocking my throttle handles. That's right throttle forward, left throttle forward. It's a little scroll wheel. It'll leave, it's got a center detent, so leave it in the center position. Uh, it's one of my analog dials, it's other analog dial. That's got also got a center position, so I'd leave it there. And that's my like flap analog axis. Now I've moved the throttles back into the zero position and any that have a detent in them, a center position, I've left. All right, so let's see what we've got here. So that's axis five, that is my right throttle. So I'll go for throttle two on that one. And that's my left throttle. I'll go for throttle one. All right, there we go. So that should be enough to get her up and running and to be able to um, get an aircraft off the ground and fly around for a bit. The only other thing you may or may not have to do, depending on how the plane reacts, is to make sure that some axes may or may not be uh, inverted, as in you might need to click the reverse button there. Let's save his new profile. I'll call it basic. So that means I've now got that configuration set up. So you can have multiple configurations. If you want to twiddle around with stuff and create new ones, then you can just tweak your basic one and then save as new profile and give it a new name. And so that's it.